let's throw it over to Scott Bauer for today's final trade of the day. Scott. After another volatile week that we saw the markets really whipsawing back and forth, we're still just a few percent off the highs of the market, but there is some added volatility in the marketplace. And that's only, in my opinion, going to move higher, the volatility that is, as we see bank earnings coming in very, very hot and heavy this coming week here. It's the start of the earnings season, and the one bank that I'm really focused on is Goldman Sachs. There's a lot of talk that with you know lower interest rates, borrowing costs, that that's going to hurt some of the big money center banks, some of the, the bigger banks like a J.P. Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Wells Fargo. The reason I am very bullish on Goldman Sachs is because I believe that their trading revenues are going to absolutely knock it out of the park. The trading revenues for the last quarter, given the volatility in the marketplace, both in fixed income and in the equity markets, should be much, much better than expectations. So I'm looking for an upside move in Goldman Sachs, and I'm looking to buy the 215 220 call spread that expires at the end of the week. I'm looking to buy that for about a dollar, dollar ten or so. And really, I can see these banks moving higher on much, much better trading revenues. Overall, again, S&P not far you know, from their highs. NASDAQ continues to run and volatility is here to stay, in my opinion, at least through the election. This is Scott Bauer with Prosper Trading Academy. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.